first impressions of the G80 M3. I'm impressed, really impressed. <laughs> Good morning guys. So I know the title of this video is that it's finally here. So I'm on my way to Miami and when we get there, I'll explain. It all makes sense. It all makes sense. All right, so just wanted to chime in a little bit. So I'm on the Florida Turnpike and if you guys have ever driven on the Florida Turnpike going south to Miami, it is horrendous. The roads here remind me of kind of like New York. Um, but I gotta say, the KWDDCs, they're so good. I'm in comfort right now and it's so compliant. And again, I want to just chime in a little bit. If you guys haven't seen that video where I did review on the B16 coilover from Bilstein and also the KWs, definitely check that video out. I'll list it down in the description below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in Miami. All right, so we just got to Miami. And I think the title's probably clickbait, but this is what it is. It's finally here from here, not me. So I was I was telling the people on the, the vlog, I was like, it's been a while and it's time has come, it's finally here. So how long did you wait for the G80 M3? And this is not even just a regular G80, this is an individual speed yellow. Speed yellow. Yeah, so I went ahead and placed the order originally with the dealer in Springfield, New Jersey. And the, uh, by the time they got my individual request in, it was near the end of production of 21, going into 22. So the factory told me that they couldn't confirm that they'd be able to get me an individual color. So ended up going with another dealer, waited for 2022 allocations. Uh, Amen at Park Ave BMW, you're amazing. I got the allocation from him July 17th or July 15th, somewhere around there. And the car got delivered December 12th. So uh, pretty much, you know, went up there. Uh, dude, it was a fantastic time. You know, he didn't even take my car to the dealership. He left it at the warehouse and uh, went ahead and, you know, got a transporter and shipped the car down. So it was a great transaction. You know, Amen works way quick, very, very quick. So if you guys, you know, or trying to find a hard to get car, he's your guy. So I just wanted to take a second to thank our sponsors for this video and that's Simply Carbon Fiber. As you guys know, Simply Carbon Fiber has sponsored a lot of my videos, and you guys know that I work with uh, companies I stand behind. And Simply Carbon Fiber has produced a new money clip that you guys seen on previous videos, but I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more about the money clip. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite pieces from them, only because as I get into filming these events, to having that big bulky wallet sometimes, um, it looks awkward on camera number one, and also two, it just, I have less room to put my batteries in while I'm filming these events, um, additional memory cards if I need that, but check this out. This right here is one of their newest money clips. As you can see, there's a huge gloss to it. And what I like about this, it's very versatile and it doesn't feel cheap. It's extremely lightweight and it holds a decent amount of cards. I'm able to hold a lot of cards. Right now I have about five cards on here. So I have four credit cards and one photo ID. And what I like about this too is that you're able to hold your uh, money on the back side of the money clip. And I have about 10 bills on the back of it. Like I said, it's lightweight. It's able to get all your essentials in a small compact money clip. And again, when another car guy looks at this product, they know you're a car guy. So the team over at Simply Carbon Fiber is gonna give you guys 10% off on your next purchase. Just use this discount code right over here and it's gonna get you 10% off on your next purchase. Let's head back into the video and see what's gonna go on next. So okay. Mahir, what made you choose Speed Yellow? Okay, so I mean, I had probably, when I first went to uh, choose the color on this car, I went to the individual catalog and probably had like, I'm gonna say what, 17, 18 different colors. It was ridiculous. And this is like probably about four months, four or five months prior to getting the car. 
So as I was you know, browsing the Beamer forums, the E9X forums, just everything in general, looking at cars of different, you know, uh, different generations, I was like, you know what? I don't want something metallic. I want something glossy. Because you know, my previous car was an Alpine white M3CS. Yeah. So I love the gloss. So I said, let's go ahead and do something glossy. So I went into their like uni catalog and I went ahead and requested for Miami Blue and uh, Maria from, uh, Maria from B um, BMW North America told me, she's just like, hey, um, unfortunately, we're not doing Miami Blue. And I was like, Jesus Christ, you know, what, do we, what can we do? She's like, oh, we can do Riviera Blue, Mexico Blue, Santorini, Voodoo. And I was just like, but no Miami? She's like, no. So I was like, all right, let's go ahead. And it came down to speed yellow and i think the other one was chalk i was gonna do chalk because my uncle had a chalk uh, uh, 991 gt3 or something like that and yeah. i loved it but i was like you know what let's go ahead and wait until i get into the porsche game to get a chalk color but this hits hard in person like chalk is good it's yes. like an off-white yes like a, like correct a creamy off -white. yes correct and it looks really good too but seeing this and photos and, and pictures miguel what no, do you bro. think no, this for me it's my favorite by far this is my favorite um, you know, I ask them every time, you know, what made you pick the color, right? Um, because it's not something that you see in a booklet and you're like, you know what, I'm going to pick that color. Um, so when you see it in person, it's like amazing. And then the little touches that he's done with it, with the paint match calipers, you know, little accents that he's doing. Um, it's just amazing. I love the car. Absolutely love Appreciate the car. Thank you. And then the thing about individual, um, whenever individual package is, they actually paint the entire thing. So if you look at the engine bay, it's all gloss, right? It's all glossy, right? Under the hood, it's all glossy. And that's what you get when you uh, spec out an individual color car. Because when it's not individual, it's like a dull color, right? And uh, the engine bay, is it, it just looks a little bit off. But this is spectacular. And I know he's gonna do some uh, speed yellow goodies, holds all in the engine bay. Uh, we'll probably hook them up with the golden wrench, you know, accessories that are coming out. So this car's going to look unique. Valve's open? Uh, I do sport. Sport plus, three revs on that. So basically doing a couple revs with his uh, setup right now. He did the first rev obviously uh, with the valves closed, efficient mode, then it went to sport, then it went to sport plus. You could kind of hear the distinctive tone difference. It goes from really quiet to semi a little bit louder. Then it opens up a little bit more and then hopefully on video you guys can kind of hear the difference um, because in person you could definitely hear the difference between the three different modes. So like I say, everybody at the shop here at Active Auto Work, they love the color. Again, speed yellow is something that I didn't think was going to be that impressive, but looking at it in person, oh my God, it looks so good. It kind of makes my car look like piss yellow more. One thing too, Mahir, I think uh, the nice touch was going uh, paint match calibers. I think it looks incredible. I've done it on mine. I think it looks, it ties it all in because on a speed yellow car, what other brake calibers could you have done? You could have probably done, I would say, what, black, right? You've done black. My car from the factory originally came with red calipers. Red calibers. It came with red okay. calipers, yes. So I ended up taking it to my cousin RJ at Speed and Tech in Virginia. Um, and, you know, they ended up sandblasting it down and paint matching it with uh, Porsche Speed Yellow. Because originally, I, had, I have never seen Speed Yellow on a BMW in person. I've seen them in photos, you know, like on Instagram, uh, Facebook, everything. But Speed Yellow, the first time I saw it was on a 996, on a Porsche 996. And after I saw it at like a local auto show, I was like, I want this color eventually on some, any vehicle I get in the future. And that was what kind of like cemented, you know, my choice with Speed Yellow. All right guys, so we are inside Active Auto Work and we're here with Rob. Um, what we're doing today is, as you see, 
Mahir's car, the G80M3, and the Speed Yellow individual. It's such a beautiful car, but does it sound good? Not yet, right? So right. we're in today, right. and his thought process was he's going to go with the X-Pipe. And the big difference between the X-Pipe and also the single mid-pipe, which I have here from you guys, mm -hmm. what's the big difference? Personally, I don't think there's a big difference. Um, you know, as far as the sound is concerned, not like the F80, where Correct. there's a distinctive deeper sound. Uh, to me, it's pretty close. I, I couldn't tell the difference. Some people say they think that the single is still a little bit deeper. Yeah. Um, Performance-wise, they're, they're about the same. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you know, again, it's a personal choice. Um, aesthetically, you know, I like the look of the single mid-pipe. Yeah. You know, to some people, they prefer the traditional. But, you know, who's going, I to, can see, say this. Who's going to see under the car anyway? But, exactly. You know. But this looks very unique, right? Because sure. all these welds, I know Miguel mentioned at the BMW mm -hmm. Invasion YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. If you haven't seen that video out, it really deep dives into each specific, right? From the X-pipe and also the single bed pipes. So you definitely need to check that video out because that's really thoroughly uh, scoped out. But you can definitely see from here the welds that Miguel talked about. These are all made in-house. So this is not sent out somewhere. This is all done in-house. And we know your uh, workers here and your technicians, they're wizards, right? Um, there's a lot of options you guys offer, right, with the tips too, right? There's a Correct. carbon fiber Correct. tip, right, which carbon we have fiber, here. Carbon fiber, which is new, uh, because we're offering this new black chrome, which is on the carbon fiber and the regular black chrome that we're offering right now. And we're gonna have the traditional uh, stainless too. What, what's your uh, personal opinion about it? What do you like better? Um, I, I like the black chrome for the fact that uh, it's more durable and hardy okay. than the uh, the other one, the uh, flat black. Because uh, regardless, the carbon fiber is eventually going to wear and tear, no, no matter of how um, high quality it is, right? Sure. Because the <laughs> elements outside being heated up is not really the most ideal, but it is right. for people's personal preference, right? right? Exactly. But you know, like like most carbon fibers, we have its space, so it's not a lot of heat on the carbon itself. Mm -hmm. And we've actually etched your name yeah. into the in this versus we had it on stamped on the app. It's such a unique look too, out, anyway. Right? Um, how can somebody order them? Are they available right now? Because um, I can tell you this, their F80, F8X platform, they were so backlogged on Ecolink mid pipes. And right now, I think you're backlogged on this, right? Yeah, we're backlogged on this, yeah. Um, you can order, but there's gonna be a wait. Yeah. You know, there's going to be a wait like that, but like the, the equal length on the F80, you know, there was a wait for over a year, but you know, just continually, we couldn't yeah. catch up for over a year, but you know, you didn't have to wait a year. But could, could so, I, I think so I after think, this video, it's yeah. going to be even more backlogged. <laughs> that's what, that's what, that's what I predict. Well, I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping we're not as bad as the F80 and uh, we can catch up and you know, you can get one pretty much right yeah. away. And just so people know, because look, we're still living in a very unique period of time where, you know, COVID's still happening. So supply delays are supply still happening. So bear cool. with them, place your order in, right? Get in line. And then when it ships out, they're gonna work their hardest to get it to you guys. Because you know what? Taxing's coming around, so spend that tax money on some auto parts. So Rob, I wanna thank you for your time. I know we went deep dive into um, the pipes with the BMW Invasion channel. If you haven't seen that one, definitely check that out because Miguel really deep dives into both aspects of it. And Rob was able to explain every single thing out. But Right now, what we're going to do is install the mid pipe onto Mahir's uh, Speed Yellow G80M3. Along with that, I know we're seeing you guys in Orlando, right? So you guys right. have a really impressive booth. I know there was a supercharged, was it a M3 that was going to be coming? Yep, supercharged E90, yeah. Uh, we can't, see, can't wait to see that too, because by, by all means, I think that sounds better than our cars regardless. <laughs> but uh, Rob, I want to thank you for your time. So I will uh, see you guys there. Thank you. See you there. I know you're excited, right? You just yeah. got the car about a week ago, yeah. right? So about a week ago, what other mods are coming in? What other you mods want to tell people in? or you don't want to tell people? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're planning on going with uh, right now. I, you know, I didn't want to be at stock monster truck hype for the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So thankfully, uh, Steve at Euroclass, I love you for having him in stock. Uh, he hooked me up with uh, the ASP suspension. Okay. Um, 
And dude, I needed it. I needed it by a certain time. He sent it all the way from San Diego, cross country to Virginia. Yeah. Two days. Wow. Two days shipping. Yes. What else is coming for the car now? Uh, so we got. We're gonna upgrade the suspension once we get the coilover. Once we get the coilovers in. Because this is an X drive, so you can't put a rear wheel drive set of coilovers on. It's a different set of coilovers. But you're going with a. Was a. Which. Which coilovers are you going to go with? Moton. 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 So yes. Sean from PSI, PSI is hooking us up with that. So yep. we're going to get that. We're going to go with Moton. Um, the grill? No, no, no. I don't think I'm going to go with the grill yet. No? No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Uh, Here's my take. If you go with everything so soon, you mod it from 0 to 100, it gets boring. It does take, get boring, take yes. it, Take it in steps. Yes, of course. All right. So I have to say, looking at Mahir's G80 M3, it looks so damn good. Like I'm telling you guys, if you guys haven't changed your mind about the G80 M3, see it in person. See it in person when it's lower, suspension and all that. It looks incredible. I think I think BMW was right. Um, unfortunately, I think a lot of us are will, will be changing our minds about it when you see more on the road, when you see more on Instagram, when you see more on YouTube. But seeing his in person, the color, the wheels, the suspension, incredible um, and if you guys are coming to the invasion of Orlando you'll definitely see his there it's gonna be the only one there because right now there's only one of one in the United States unfortunately the other guy that did have it God rest his soul uh, he passed away so one of the treats about always coming to active they always have some unique cars that they're working on so some of the unique cars are right back there I'll show you guys real quick so you have this e30 m3 here that they're working on always always good to see where the M3s have started from. Another BMW Classic, I have no idea what this is. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments. Is it E30 or is it an old 5 Series? I have no idea. And they have the E36 M3. It looks like it has a wide body kit on it. I like that tag, Sinful M. Okay, so this G80 has um, Jesse catted down pipes, custom made by Active, uh, X pipe, mid pipe, uh, no cats, and an Active valve rear with carbon fiber tips. It sounds it's it's nice it's nice it's very kind of like kind of like shook me man when i heard hey, it i was like oh shoot man it was loud on? it was it was loud clean was loud. There's, there's no rasp to it it's no, really deep no rasp very deep it's, it's fantastic so guys tax refund money's coming out soon <laughs> you know what you need to probably buy in order if you own a g80 m3 or a g8x platform and what's so good about being able to go to events at the Invasion of Orlando, we're gonna have an exhaust competition. So you guys are gonna be able to hear a lot of different setups and to really hear it because you wanna be able to hear it in person before you spend the money on it because the installation costs, the cost of the product, you need to do all that. So hearing it in person before you make the decision, you got it. it this this sounds incredible. I'm not sure you can go anything, this sounds incredible. All right, the installation's all done on Mahir's uh, G80 M3 with the new X-Pipe pipe from uh, Active Auto Work. Just, he, just gave a couple reps off camera and it sounds incredible. I, th I think it's probably probably the top three things you need to do on this car when you first get it. Obviously suspension and also something to uh, make the car a little bit louder. And right now it sounds really good. And if you guys call, if you guys heard in the previous clip, it was the Sao Paulo Yellow a G80 M3 with a self wrap. That one has a full system and obviously that one just sounds insane. Such a deeper tone. There's no wraps to it or rasp. Um, I think that's the setup you guys need to go with. Obviously, there's more companies throughout time. They're gonna come out with different setups, and hopefully, we'll be able to capture it for you guys so that you guys hear it. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to spend so much money on a on a setup, and it sounds bad.
So, if you guys don't know, Active Auto Works gonna be sponsoring the exhaust competition, and they have like wizards or welders here, right? So we asked them, hey, can you make a really unique trophy? And then what's gonna be going on? Like a really unique one that they're not gonna show me now, but they're we'll not, see we, it. We can't show you, but I think you'll all be surprised, pleasantly surprised that it's very, very unique. Not something you can go into a trophy shop and buy. So if you guys are winning, you'll see this video before the show, but you have to come to impress the crowd. Don't impress me, don't impress him, impress the crowd. So I know you're from, also from Jamaica too, right? Right. So it's so weird, right? Because my father's from Cuba, he's Chinese Cuban, and then you're Chinese Jamaican. How did that work? Hey, you know, you just have to represent, right? So the great grandparents came from Jamaica. So you can put on the accent sometimes. And you know how it goes, right? So all the yardies come support us at BMW Invasion. All right? Iron Man. <laughs> I love that. All right, so Rob, we spent a lot of hours here already today. We had a lot of fun talking about the next event, right, in Orlando, and also hearing Mahir's car. I just heard it, and I think it's probably one of the best sounding setups right now. I can only imagine as you progress more with different exhausts. I know we heard the San Paolo yellow uh, with the full right. setup. Mm -hmm. So if you guys haven't heard that in person, it will be at the Invasion of Orlando on February 19th. You have to check that out because I said it many times before, it doesn't make sense for you to spend so much money on a setup where you might not like, right? But when you hear it up in person at these exhaust competitions that you guys are sponsoring, correct, it saves you the money long term because you're not spending the money on the install, you're spending the money only once, and then you're buying something you like to hear. You know, so I want to thank you for your time and give us the hospitality, showing us the behind the scenes of what you guys do. But we're excited for this next event. I'll see you guys there. All right, thanks very much. All right, we'll see you guys. All right, guys, this is my first time sitting at a GDM3. Haven't sat in before. These are carbon buckets, and let's see how it feels. I see where you have to like jump over. Yeah. Yep. Wow, this just feels like you're in a sports car. It feels incredible. It smells, I love that new car smell. Yes, I know, really good. So we're gonna get some uh, Jamaican food. Actually, to be honest, it'd be my first time having Jamaican food. Yeah? Never had Jamaican food. Dude, Jamaican food's gas. Let me tell uh, Richard. Hey, Rich, we're gonna try that Jamaican food. Yeah, cool. You want anything? No, no, no. You sure? By the time you come back, it should be done. No, don't worry, take your time. Yeah. What's, yeah, what's good there? They're already cutting it down. Everything is good, oxtail is good, the curry goat is good. Curry goat? Oxtail? Oxtail is good. Would you like us to bring anything for no, you guys? No, 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 we're good. Anyone? We are... no, no, Some we're red stripe? Okay. No, I'm kidding. No, no, Some no, red we're, good. <laughs> we're good. I think they have it there. Maybe no, I'm not drinking right no, now. No, no, I'm not drinking. I'm good, I'm good. The coconut water is good, though. Coconut water, coconut or, some, water. or some, you know, uh, some of the oh, champagne cola, off. whatever. All right, I'll try the oxtail. I never tried Jamaican food. Really? No. You ever had oxtail? Nope. My first day. Let's try it. <laughs> so me here. I know the first time we met yes. was literally at the invasion of Melbourne, Florida. Yes. Literally, I was actually, I remember this specifically. I was cleaning my wheels and then you're like, hey, Ken. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yo, what's that? up? So, and you're like, who the hell is this? I was like, what's your name? He goes, Mahir. I was like, oh, cool. Blessed M3CS and you're like, hey, now I remember you. And that's what I like about these events. It puts the name to the face of the car or the name or the face to the IG name. So it's always fun to do that. This may go in the video. I mean, I'm not even sure, but I gotta say, Richard, that recommended the curry goat and actually, you know, Jamaican kitchen here. No, and the curry oxtail. Curry oxtail? Gas. Gas. Delicious. And to be honest, my first time having uh, Jamaican food. I think it was a good, a good spot. Remember here? Yes, it was fantastic. Richard, thank you so much. But, um,. Yeah, I think it's been a long day. We're gonna head back to Active. I know he has a busy day. He has to drive back to what? Um, Fort Myers. Fort Myers. I gotta head up to uh, Fort Lauderdale, and that's about maybe an hour and a half with traffic, and probably start editing some of the videos. I got a lot of videos to edit. First impressions of the G80 M3. I'm impressed, really impressed. The amount of, I guess, upscale kind of feel you have from the F80, F8X platform sitting inside. Obviously, these seats really make the car on a different level, right? It just amplifies the performance of it, the feel for it, and also for the luxurious of it. Because if you look at the carbon back seats, it just looks incredible. Um, we were just going over the brake, and I really didn't know too much about it. 
but for the G and X platform, you could adjust everything, right? From the suspension, the steering feel, um, how your engine performs, right? To sport, comfort, eco, and all that stuff, or efficient. But you could even change the brake feel. The brake feel, like there's a comfort mode and also a sport mode. He just changed it. Um, here was basically applying the same amount of pressure on both modes, and it definitely bites a lot more on sport mode, as it should be, but just to see where BMW has come from, it's just insane to see what other technologies they're gonna be uh, showing off in the near future. But such a great purchase. I think it's a, a step up from the CS. It's a step up from the CS, definitely. I have comfort access again. That's my favorite part. I know, I know. And the Silverstone interior, if you have kids, good luck. But yeah. it looks gorgeous in here. It looks absolutely gorgeous in here. All right, so we're all done here at Active Auto Work. I had a good time with me here, the team at Active. Uh, it's like I said, it's always when I come here and they always treat us like family. It's it's a family owned business. These guys have been around for years, I think over 40 years. So they know what they're doing. I had a good time hearing, experiencing the G80. Um, and, and that's it, you know, we'll see more of it on the next show, which is going to be the Invasion of Orlando. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in for this week's episode. If you guys haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys next week. I'm a freak, I'm an outcast, I'm a shadow I stand with the lost souls Looking for...